Oh, hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel, welcome back. I'm Mariam, and in today's video, I am testing new makeup, possibly for the last time in 2021. We have a lot of new launches that just came in this week, and I am excited to slap all of this onto my face, create this look, talk about all of these products, give you my first impressions verdict, also chat with you about this and that as we do, but this one is gonna be particularly chatty. So I hope you like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and do so and hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get into this testing, the latest makeup, possibly for the last time in 2021. Are we sad about that? No, we're not. Here we go. Sugarfina sugar cookies. Mm-hmm. Let's get into the spirit of testing makeup, shall we? So we have a lot of new stuff, not necessarily any skin stuff, but we do have this one kind of unique product. It's from Maybelline and it's called Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. We have it in five shades. Though the shade zero and one look identical to me. Like, I don't know if there's much difference between those two. And then when you put shade medium next to them, now suddenly there is a difference. So I don't know if this was just like a packaging mistake or what, but the two lightest shades are not distinct enough for me. But that's besides the point. Here we have shade three. This is shade four. And I guess those are all the shades that we have in this new Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. So what this is supposed to do and be is a primer, so it's supposed to prime, a concealer, so it's supposed to conceal, a highlighter, so it's supposed to highlight, and also a BB cream. Interesting. I don't quite buy it just because up close it looks very, very shimmery, like almost metallic. So I'm not sure if this would work for me because I'm not into like really metallic-y products. You guys probably already know what I'm about to say, that Huda Glowish very metallic product was not my jam. So this is looking like it might be something along those lines, though I'm not sure. I can't give it a review, obviously, until I actually test it out and try it. So let's see, you're supposed to twist it this way. Oh, I am not a fan of these types of applicators. They do not do anything for me. You end up twisting for like a century with nothing coming out and then suddenly you'll get all this product. And see, I am someone who's very impatient. I know it's one of those virtues that I need to work on. So this type of packaging for me is an absolute no-go. So I'm gonna give it a couple more twists. All right, it's starting to reveal itself. Okay, well this looks very, very orange on me. So clearly not a shade that I would go for, but I'm just gonna apply some on the perimeter of my face. Kind of like as a contour, you know, to the forehead also. Ooh, it is glowy, baby. It is shiny. Also, I'm not a fan of these types of applicators. I really like Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer, which has the same type of applicator. And I kind of like let it slide because that concealer is so good. But for this, for like an all over the face product, I'm not sure how sanitary it is. I mean, yeah, unless you're a makeup artist, you're gonna be the only one using it. But still, if you're breaking out one day, you don't want those oils or that bacteria to get on this sponge and then to have to apply to your face on a good skin day, you know? This is just not cute. I'm not into it. Wow, I'm complaining a lot and this video just started. All right, so I'm twisting out the 01 light, which is not the lightest, but the second lightest. I'm trying to see if maybe I can add some of this onto the rest of my face. Girl, I really feel like they are trying it with this product. This is weird, this is taking a long time. It's really shiny. It's making my pores look giant. I can see them in my monitor. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Brush that I love. Let me see if I can blend all this together to create a more seamless look. Yeah, this is way too metallic for me, baby. I am not the one. Okay, on the bright side, it is offering just like a little bit of coverage, like a sheer hint of coverage. And it blends out fairly easily. Kind of like a bomb, but not as thick as a bomb. Ooh, this section right here is just looking tragic. Also, I think this is due to the fact that I just have some breakouts and some acne scars in this area. So I'm just not at my best. But even if I were at my best, this was just not suitable for my skin type. Maybe I should test out the lightest shade and see if I can actually use that as a highlighter. Because it's said to be a four in one, that's what they said. And here we go again. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. There it is. Now this is the lightest shade, but I would say it is darker than the second lightest shade. This one has 
a yellow undertone, whereas the second shade has more of a neutral undertone. It is definitely a little bit more yellow, thus it's making me feel like it's a little bit more tan. Anyway, I'm gonna blend that out. I'm gonna use that to highlight the high points of my face, though I'm not actually gonna blend that out with a brush. I'm gonna use my finger here. So I'll do just like some with a brush and then a little bit with a finger just to preserve the luminosity. <laughs> This shade, Fair Light, the yellow lightest one, lightest one, I can see myself using that as a highlighter. I have a big old PR package, big and beautiful may I say, from YSL Beauty. Beautiful packaging, just in time for the holidays. And I think I know what this is. I might have seen this on my friend's Insta story. Dun da da da! Ooh la la. So we have the holiday season collection of two Chiclat concealer, which is why I was actually reaching for this box. I needed a concealer and I knew, I remembered there was a concealer in this PR package. Also, this is the YSL Libra perfume. I do like this one. I do have this one. So I'm probably gonna give this away to my mom, maybe to my sister. Merci YSL Beauty. Okay, so this is a really, really popular concealer that again, I am just a little, impatient for because it has one of these little buttons that you have to press a few times before the product releases but it's a really great formula it's kind of like a radiant concealer so it's not matte but I wouldn't say it's shiny or like super shimmery or anything like that in fact I think this might be good for concealing my under eye so shade 3 is a little bit peachier than what I usually go for but it's fine it's good for concealing. Again, like I mentioned, this concealer has a cult following. People swear by it. And although it's a good product, to me, the packaging is just not my vibe. I am that New Yorker who gets pissed when people walk slow in front of her. Yep, that's me. The slow ass packaging. So basically anything that makes me wait, <laughs> I'm not a fan of. This is a really good product though. It covered everything so well. And the shades are really quite right. So even shade three, which I wouldn't typically reach for, makes it look like I'm not really wearing concealer, but my under eye is not dark. Like it's now concealed. It's really interesting. So for powder, I have this uh, Jouer Soft Focus and Hydrate Set Powder in the shade Radiant Translucent. So this one I got, I think at the beginning of the month, but of course I forgot to test it out. So in today's video, we are testing it out. Packaging is really, really cute looks like a little jewelry box or like a little cute mirror so this is called a translucent a radiant translucent but typically when i hear the word translucent being used with powders i imagine like a white looking powder this has a tint this has like a pinky beige tint so i'm not sure how translucent it is truly this is what we're here for to test it out i'm gonna grab this kind of brush just like a big fluffy brush for the under eye this one has no name unfortunately let's see what happens oh it is in fact very luminous. So although I just mattified my under eye with that YSL to Chiclat, now I brought back the shimmer. And yeah, I'm gonna dare to say shimmer when it comes to this product because I am seeing particles of shimmer. It has like a satin finish for an eyeshadow, but when you think about it, a satin finish for a face powder is like actually shimmery. I don't hate it though. Next, I'm gonna take the Charlotte T brush Gonna see if I can set between the eyebrows, maybe the center of the forehead. I am going to be shining today. Well, I will say the powder itself is really fine. So although it's shiny, it's also skin perfecting. Like it has skin perfecting properties in it. And I'm noticing that it's not magnifying my texture. It's definitely setting this balmy perfecter in place, but it's setting it in a really unique luminous way. I'm gonna see if I could use a bigger brush, maybe like a big fluffy brush. This one is It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder. Let's see what happens if I use it with a big old brush like this. I have never seen my skin so luminous and actually like it. Je suis confused. What is happening? I wasn't loving this, I'll be honest. 
but then together with this and then this, suddenly it transformed. Is it me or is my skin looking a little bit more even toned now? Maybe it's the powder. The powder actually is not translucent at all. I think it has some color and the color is so flattering. It's so light reflective that it's like throwing my eye off. It's throwing the camera off. I'm so confused. I don't know whether to like it or whether to hate it, but looking at myself in my monitor and even in my mirror, I don't hate what I see. Let's move on. We've got new products for the brows and this time we have some bushy brow pomade stick from Lime Crime. This is in three shades, Dirty Blonde, Not Me, Brunette, and Chocolate Brown. My giveaway box is over there and I missed it. So let's start with Brunette. All right, looks like one of those pencils you've seen before. Teardrop shape, spoolie on the other side. I'm gonna go for the shade Brunette because it looks like a cooler shade of brown. Oh wow, very, very soft. And because it's so soft, it's releasing a lot of pigment. And because I don't have any brow gel or anything in my brows, just cat hair in my brows, it's gliding on quite effortlessly. Is this a happy brow or an angry brow? Hmm. You just never know with brows. It could go either way. But speaking of happy, I am actually very happy this week. We put up our New Year's tree. I call it a New Year's tree because I didn't grow up celebrating Christmas. I put up the tree for New Year's. As you guys know, I'm an immigrant and back in my country, that's what the tree is for. It's for the new year. So anyway, the tree is up, the decor is up, but now that I'm an American, my decor is more Christmassy. Even though I don't personally celebrate Christmas, but I enjoy the festivities. So I am probably gonna have my sister over. Not sure about my brother. In full transparency, it's probably my first time revealing it, but my father and my brother and sister's mom are no longer together. And so my brother and sister no longer spend too much time together. They actually spend a lot of time separately. And so it's been uh, a wild ride to say the least. But anyway, back to me being happy. So my sister has requested to spend Christmas with us because she really loves Christmas movies and we really enjoy doing like the Christmassy thing together. And so that is what we're gonna be doing. Maybe I'll invite my dad and my brother if they don't have other plans, but that is my plan. Okay, so all this talking and I already finished my brows. I'm gonna try out the chocolate brown shade too, just to, I, I don't know, add more dimension to my brows or something like that. But I quite enjoyed this Lime Crime Pencil. I'm not too much a pencil girl, but if I were, this would be my preferred formula. Just easy to use, fast, almost powder-like. Not waxy, I don't like waxy pencils at all. But this is just like super soft, you know? Okay, brows are, you know, they're present. I don't have any brow gel to test out, so I guess I'm not gonna use a brow gel because I don't got one. Moving on to eyeshadow palettes? I got a couple. So first and foremost, we've got the new Supreme Nudes, the Quickie palette from Artist Couture from Mac Daddy. I am loving this little promo poster. This is so cute. looks like a magazine. I mean, that is a cover boy if I've ever seen one. This is the packaging. I'm a big fan of this packaging from Artist Couture. It feels very chic to me, very sleek, just very inviting. Oh my God, these colors in this nude are just so warm and cozy. So these are probably names that you've seen before from the previous palettes. And I really like this color compilation. I think this is really nice for every day or for night because there's some nice shimmery shades in here. So I definitely am going to dip into this. Also from Artist Couture, we've got some liquid shadows and they're called Stay Lit Liquid Shadows. Perfect name. Litty Kitty, oh my God. That reminds me of like one of my AOL screen names from back in the day. It was City Kitty, but Litty Kitty is probably what it would be now. <laughs> Ooh, Rich I like that. That would be my screen name now, Rich all right, and here is the collection of all five. We've got beautiful bronzy, coppery shades, a shimmery nude, a pinky, sparkly, shimmery shade, and also like a champagne-y gold. All of these are really pretty and speaking to me. And I gotta say, I'm listening. We also have another palette, and this one is from Morphe X Pony. Look at this magical PR package. Look at this inside. Stunning, huh? Here on the back, we have a picture of Pony. Stunning, stunning. I'm just gonna hide. Gorgeous. And in this collaboration, we have this massive, massive, massive palette. Look at the size of this palette. It's like three of my heads can probably fit in here and my head is on the larger side. All right, so this is the palette. It is called Constellation Sky Morphe X Pony. It is big 
and it is beautiful. Mostly neutral shades, leaning purple though. So these are warm tones, pinky tones, purple tones. That's what I'm seeing. That's the color story here. So definitely like a more muted color story, not so much pops of color, maybe just two here three, but for the most part, a very wearable compilation of colors. We also have these face stickers here, like a whole sheet of face stickers or body stickers and lip gelée. Ooh, ooh, these are interesting. There's a blue in here too, okay. Very ethereal, very interesting. I feel like this is an unexpected collab, so it could be good. It could be interesting, I'm interested. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is dip into some artist couture and some Morphe. No, it's kind of not fair because the Artist Couture palette only has eight shades and the Morphe has like 88 shades. Primer time. Fenty Beauty is the name. Oh, I'm still kind of shocked over my skin. I don't know why, but I'm just not used to seeing my skin glow like that and actually not hate it. I don't know, but I was very skeptical. I'm very critical. I was not even trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. Terrible packaging, tin man finish. And now here I am enjoying myself as a tin man. Okay, moving on to shadow. I'm gonna go for this shade here called Nudist from the Artist Couture palette. Morphe R39 brush. Work that into the outer corner, then the inner right under the brow and connect. Here's a thought. How many of you guys are still wearing eyeshadows on a daily basis? Like considering the fact that many of us are now working from home, but of course there are still tons of industries in which that's not an option, especially if you're in any type of in-person industry. So my question is, how many of you are still reaching for eyeshadows on a daily basis? Not counting Saturday and Sunday, but just like Monday through Friday. Are you reaching for eyeshadows or are you not? In my industry, I will tell you, I am reaching for eyeshadow palettes whenever I film my YouTube videos. So that's at least twice a week. And that's if I review some type of an eyeshadow palette, because that's not always the case. Sometimes I review foundations or face products. But like, even if I have a Zoom meeting with a brand, I generally just slap on a mascara or maybe like a cat eye liner, maybe some lashes. But I just don't see myself reaching for eyeshadows the way that I used to. But anyway, this is a lovely eyeshadow. I really went all out with this one. I wanted to show you the color. Just like a beautiful, slightly tan nude. Has a pinch of an orange ochre base that I like. So it gives it some distinction. I'm gonna add some to the lower lash line as well. Okay, next I'm gonna reach for Exposed. This is Dose of Colors shader brush. Just a flat little brush. Of course, I already dirtied it with the previous shade, but that's okay. Some on, lovely. Love it. I'm gonna close this one out for now. I'm gonna reach into some of these Morphe X Pony shades. I'm thinking, kind of curious about this deeper shade here. This one's called Phase. I'm wondering if you can use this one as a bronzer shade or as like a contour shade, because obviously these shades in the center are much larger and at least two of them can definitely be highlighters. Perhaps these two could be blushes. So I'm wondering if this could be contour or bronzer. And these two are obviously more like toppers. I am going to use that shade Phase to gently carve out a crease from my inner corner. It's a unique shape for me, but I've been wanting to experiment with it. I'm also kind of extending the inner corner. I'm just using a precision crease brush from Motives. Extending that line and darkening that lower lash line. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, same thing here. Next, I'm gonna dip into this shade here called Bummy. Aw, Bummy. That's what I lovingly call my cat Bowie. So with this shade Bummy, I'm gonna darken this crease even more but not so much in the center, more so in the outer corners, like that. And this brush that I'm using here is also Morphe. I'm just doing like a bit of a reverse cat eye here in the outer corner. Okay, I don't know why I decided to go all sorts of overboard, but I guess I did, and here we are. There's quite a bit of fallout with this darker brown shadow, so I'm just gonna flick it off gently. And now I'm thinking I wanna test out one of these Artist Couture eyeshadows. I'm gonna go for the lightest one, Champagne Showers. Love that name. I'm gonna add that to the center of the lid, just like that, straight from the wand. And then I'm gonna take a small little brush, maybe this one from Laura Mercier. It's like a synthetic brush with a pointed tip. Clay smudge is the name. And just smudge out that sparkle before it gets a chance to really settle on there. Add that all over. Let's see what happens if I add a bit more and do the same with the finger. Ooh, a bit better. Well, these dry super, super fast. To a pretty solid metallic finish. I kind of like. Hmm. I'm gonna grab this black liquid liner from Tres Luce 
And I'm not gonna do much. I'm just going to extend my inner corner, kind of just like surround that, connect that to my top lash line, like that, and then create a super, super, super thin line across the lid, almost like it's at the root of the lashes, almost like it's not there. And then basically do the same thing on the outer corner, surround the outer corner, extend that, not so much in a cat eye style, but more like in a Cleopatra style, kind of like straight out. And then bring that in along the outer portion of the lower lash line, but not too much in. I'm gonna take a clean brush and just smudge that like that. Isn't that kind of funky? I don't know why I attempted this artistic liner and I'm not even going anywhere, but I'll always have this video to remember by. We have some volumizing vegan mascaras from Lime Crime in the shades Supernova, which is a black, and also Blue Moon, which is a blue. Yeah, this is really quite blue. Not for me, not for today, but let's see how this black does. Also, I have a new lash curler to test out and it is from the brand, ooh, I don't wanna butcher their name, R-E-P-H-R, -E Refer? I think it's Refer. I'm going to use this lash curler, which by the way, is very flat. So I love that for me because my eyes are flat. And you know how I always rave about my flat Laura Mercier lash curler? Well, this one is just as flat and it curls the lashes quite nicely. It's able to really grasp all of them, which I love. Also, I can easily do the lower lashes without pinching my skin. Also, it opens up not as wide as I would like to, but wide enough for me to really get in there. So, okay, this might be my new in the filming room lash curler that I will keep here in my drawer. Nice. And now let's test this Lime Cry Mascara. So this one's called Astronomical, volumizing vegan mascara. Let's see. Nice, non-gimmicky wand. I love that for me. Ooh, but the formula feels not so luscious bit on the dry side. I'm personally not a fan of that because again, drier mascaras just take time to apply. I like them to be more on the liquidy side. That way I can just apply it quickly and be done with it. But I do see some volume. Or maybe it's the way that lash curler curled my lashes. I really like fan them out. Hmm. Wow. I mean, this vegan mascara is still just a little too dry for me, but the fact that it is really able to build up the lash is what's selling me. I like what I'm seeing, even though I don't like how long it's taking to see what I'm seeing, but the result is nice. I was gonna add falsies, but I feel like this is just a little bit more modern. I don't know if I necessarily need falsies. I quite like the eyes. I think it looks fresh and cool. Yeah, I'm gonna use that word. I'm gonna use the word cool. Moving on. We've got just like a couple more really exciting things that I wanna walk through, talk through, and apply onto my face. But first, Sugar Fina Sugar Cookies. Why do they send me this? We have a PR package from Otrera Beauty. And in it, we have, oh my God, this PR package is stunning. Hold on. Ooh, mm, smells like fresh print, yes. How gorgeous is this presentation though? So what we have here is, I believe, a new lip collection with some lip liners and some velvet mousse lipsticks. We also have this really interesting, oh, magnetic, snap on teeth looking mechanism. It's so cool, I just keep wanting to do this. Also inside you kind of hear something, I wonder what it is. Anyway, this is really, really pretty, really cool, really innovative, like just really striking, and it totally fits the theme of this beauty brand, which is all about female empowerment, which is all about goddesses, all about strong warrior women. Atrira, or Otrera, was the first warrior Amazonian princess, I believe, which is what the brand is named after. This was sent to me via DHL, and it came from France. And so the fact that everything is in place and just the presentation is so stunning, I take my hat off to Sana and the team. You guys are killing it. Okay, so here we have three lip liners. Typically I just like go in with my little tweezer here and I just pluck everything out, but this package is so beautiful. I wanna preserve everything. And this is an influencer brand, you know, and like I know how much work goes into it. So I just wanna give it the respect. I wanna take my time, so hold on. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up one of these lipsticks. Ooh, we have a gorgeous red. Oh, I I see, so you can basically snap this little topper gloss to any one of these liquid lipsticks. Can these snap onto each other? Oh, and these can snap onto each other. Oh, 
Okay, that's so cool. All right, so in this collection, we have nine shades of the mousse semi-matte velvety lip mousse lipsticks. And the cool thing is that they snap on together, easily mix and match your faves or like store them this way. And the 10th is a gloss. The only difference in the packaging between the gloss and the mousse lipsticks is that the top or the teeth here are gold. So I'm guessing there might be some glosses coming soon. Also, we have three lip pencils. We have a brown, we have a wine, and we have a red. Would it be too much for me right now to do a red? Never too much. So I'm gonna grab this shade called Amourette. And now these lip pencils are made in Germany. So this is probably not common knowledge, but I will let you in on a little secret. The best pencils or liners or just like pencils even outside of the makeup industry just like pencils in general are made in germany that's just like what germany is known for so that tells me that this brand is invested in having the best products not only are their pencils made in germany their eyeshadow palette and also these new lippies are made in italy yeah so i am going to grab this shade here called passionante Ooh, it has a really nice scent, which is very inviting. It's reminding me of cookies. And this shade is just absolutely stunning. I think it totally goes with the pink that I'm wearing. I am feeling rather put together. I do have one more product to test out, and it is from none other than Fenty. And this is gonna be the last product for today. So Fenty has some new liquid kilowatt highlighters or illuminators in several different shades. So I'm thinking I should just like test these on my arm just to give you an idea of what these look like. So there are five shades all together in this new product. We've got one for every shade category, for the fair, for the light, for the medium, for the tan, and for the deep. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the first one. This one is called Side Chick. This is what the package looks like, squeezy tube. I'm gonna squeeze out a small amount and then kind of blend that over my wrist. So side chick looks like a very pale yellow gold with some reflex of white. Beautiful shade that actually anyone can get away with wearing. Next shade we have is called Vintage Velour and it has like a rosy undertone. This one I would say is better suited for the fairer skin tones or those who have a cooler undertone. So it definitely has like a pinky, bluey sort of vibe. Not as sparkly, but definitely just like a more subtle pearly shade. Okay, next we have Hustle Baby 2.0. This one seems like a peachy shade. Similar as the previous shade. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera, but this is not as sparkly as the first. It's more of like a flat shimmer, but it definitely has some sparkles, though not as much as the first one. So far, the first one is my favorite of the three. Next up, we have Honey Haughty. So Honey Haughty looks like coppery golden tone. So something that would be better suited for tan complexions or deeper. Another just shimmery shade, not too much sparkle there. And last but not least, we have Butta Brownie, shade number five. So here are the five shades. None of them feel sticky. They all feel very comfortable. So let's test them out. I'm gonna go for a little bit of this Hustler Baby 2.0. This one was slightly peachy. I'm just gonna add that to the top of my cheekbone and just pat it out with my finger. Looks really, really stunning actually. This reminds me very much of the Rare Beauty highlighters. They also have this very very nice flexible formula that doesn't dry too quickly and that doesn't dry patchy or too textured. So I really like this. I feel like you can even add a little bit to your foundation in case you want a little extra luminosity on certain high points of the face rather than all over the face. I'm gonna go for the lightest shade, the one that I like the most, Side Chick. I will say this is the most sparkly one. It's actually the only sparkly one of them all. It definitely does have some like visible flex. I'm gonna add just like a drop to my finger and then just dab it on this small brush. And with this brush, I wanna add that to the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna add just a bit more to my brow bone. I like what I did here in the brow bone area. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And that is the look. Let's talk about everything. Number one, the skin. I wasn't hating the skin at first, although I did not like the application and I was not loving this interesting product from Maybelline. But upon observing my skin in the monitor and also in my mirror here, I was kind of surprised by what I saw. I thought that although I looked very luminous and almost bordering metallic, it somehow looked pretty. Now looking at my skin with this handheld mirror a lot closer, I will say that that it's not something that I 
could probably get away with for real life. Perhaps on camera, because the lights are so bright, because they're kind of like blowing out my texture, they're blowing out a lot of the shadows, it may actually look better on camera than it does in person. I'm just imagining that in real life, this would be not as pleasant. It would just be too luminous, too shiny, too reflective, not something that I can see myself wearing on an everyday basis. Next, this concealer I like, I've always liked it, just the packaging is a little too annoying for me, but the product itself is very good and it has a cult following for a reason. Next in the new products category though, I will say that I was pleasantly surprised by the Jouer powder. Although I didn't find it to be translucent the way that it claimed to be, I definitely saw it being skin perfecting. And yes, though it added shimmer to the face, it added it in a pleasant way. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm really curious to see how this product wears with say one of my regular foundations that I already really like, or with something a little bit more matte, just to see how those products would play together. Moving on to the Lime Crime Bushy Brow products. I gotta say, I quite like them. I like the fact that they were really soft, really easy to blend, not waxy, just like a beautiful powdery pencil. No, it wasn't super sharp, it wasn't super fine, it wasn't anything of the sort, but it was really good for just filling in the brow and then brushing out the product. Next we have the Supreme Nudes, the Quickie Palette from Artist Couture. I thought this was lovely. I love the shades. I love the two shades that I used. I think this is a great everyday, slim, sleek, perfect on the go palette. I like it a lot. Similarly, I can't complain about these liquid shadows from Artist Couture. I thought the shade that I tried looks really, really pretty. It's not too crinkly. It's not too hard. It has enough playroom to really just give you a sparkly eye or a more shimmery eye finish. And I like it. Next up, I thought this Morphe X Pony palette was although pretty, just like a little bit too large for me to keep around or want to reach for. Like this is a lot of palette. And the color story, although very pretty, it's something that I've seen before. There's some brownie nudie shades, some pinky shades and some purple shades. Definitely very cohesive, definitely decent quality, but just the size of this palette is very intimidating for me. But then again, I am someone who thinks that this palette is just too much. So then you give me double the size of that and <laughs> I tend to get a little nervous. Next up, I gotta say, I think I might have found a new lash curler that works for me from the brand Refer, whose name I can't really pronounce. I'm not sure if this is how you say it, so forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. I didn't actually look it up beforehand. I really like the lash curler. I think it's cool. I think it worked for me. That's that. Lime Crime, Astronomical Volumizing Vegan Mascara seemed to have worked on my little lashes. It seemed to have made them longer, fuller, more voluminous, but it was just a little bit drying. So it took some time for me to actually get the results. So not really a fan of like doing more work than I have to, but it works. So I'm not gonna complain. I really, really like these lippies and the whole concept of Otrea Beauty. I love the fact that all of these are snap-on. It's just like, so cute and so innovative and I love the little teeth or like what looks like shields or I don't know warrior tools or something it's just very cool very empowering and I like it and it feels expensive and I like that I like things that like look and feel luxe and that have a story you know so I think this brand is onto something I'm really really liking what you are doing Sana this is nice feels very very comfortable on the lips gorgeous color just very flattering on my golden skin tone but could work for anyone really and last but not least we have the Fenty Beauty the new liquid kilowatt highlighters in five shades. Definitely gonna reach for these again. I like the formula. I thought it was very light, very easy to blend over powder, over a lot of product that I have on my face. It worked. I like the way that I was able to sharpen my brow underneath by using the product on a brush. So overall, I think I had a pretty positive experience in today's testing new makeup. And I'm not certain that this is the very last testing the new makeup for the year, but if it is, I am excited to see what 2022 has in store for us makeup wise. With that said, and with my very hoarse voice, I'm going to wish you guys a farewell. I will see you in my next video. This is the final look. I hope you like it. I quite like it. I think I have fun and I'm just like feeling 
festive and happy. And that's a good thing. So I'm zooming on out. You are checking out my next two videos and we are saying farewell for now. Mwah. Peace, see you later.